If you could only see what I see right now, which is why, how this camera is able to retain, remain cool, is it's got this big old massive ice pack strapped to its back with rubber bands. That's how this thing is going to keep cool. And how I'm going to be able to get my 4K video out of it. Okay. Uh, this is going to be the tagline of everybody in VR space. You can't lie in VR. And then so there's no reason to even try to present yourself as something else other than who you are in VR. Because somebody will be able to cut through the shit and uh, figure out what, what who you really are in VR. So you're either really good at lying to people or you're 100% what you are. And I prefer to take the other stance rather than to take the former. I don't, I, I'm not good at, enough at lying to, uh, to really make that fly. So I'm 100% what I am. I'm not going to hide myself from it. I'm going to be what I am. I'm going to be my underwear, my long underwear. Um naked in this almost naked in the in the view of the of the of the consumer i'll just say right up front vr is 100 percent truth and it's what's scaring the shit out of the industry it's the reason why there isn't this the mass adoption that we're foreseeing should be coming and for vr is not coming is because everybody and their dog is scared shitless of this medium I'll tell you the reason why they're scared shitless. This is why. Um, these are the obvious things that I can see from the um, from the entertainment world. And keep in mind that I have never made money in this world uh, other than getting a scholarship from some program in 3D, um, from a 3D company. Uh, I'm just going on what I can see of what I see in the industry and what I believe and what I don't believe and everything that goes with that. There's nowhere to hide your friggin' camera crew in VR. And stitching your content isn't going to cover it. People can see your ass in this. You know, people can see through the seams of your of your stitching. Um, they can see that there's content there that's missing that should be there. They can see your stunt doubles. They can see everything how your your whole in your whole enterprise works in VR. Um, so there's nothing to hide. Actors can't have body doubles anymore. Actors can't have stunt doubles. In fact, the only actors that are going to come out of VR and then be actors are the stunt in themselves they are going to have to become actors the actors are going to become stage performers because that's all they are so the stage so the actors such as tom cruise have to be, either become stuntmen or they have to go back to being stage performers it has the effect of um killing the industry it has the effect of letting vaudeville come back and eat uh, the industry. It's like Night of the Living Dead for the entire uh, film industry. That's what VR is. It's like Night of the Living Dead. It's all of those um, mediums that they thought were dead that they killed off and they were able to do better with film. They can no longer do because VR can't be manipulated. Because VR can't be manipulated. Um... The only art, the only artist in the in its art medium, they're the true artists. They're the true personas. The the true, they're the hundred percent variety of persona. Um, they're the people that are a hundred percent what they are. Those are the only people that are going to fly in this medium. And I'm just going to say it out right in front. 
VR scaring them shitless because they can't manipulate it. It's an unmanipulatable format. The only way you're going to be able to manipulate VR because um, what's involved in VR is more brain than there was in 2D. In 3D, there's a lot of brain that is not understandable by psychology. The psychology has not been able to figure out. There's enough of that in how the how the brain works in VR. The brain is the star. The brain is what's is what's satisfying your your curiosity. It is what is is the one that is perceiving the the stereo imagery. The stereo the stereo imagery is only good as your brain is. And everybody's brain is good enough to do this. And there's nothing in the industry, nobody that has the capacity to fool this brain. The, this fundamental brain that everybody's got. This fundamental uh, pattern matcher that everybody's got. And um, cinematography can't deal with this. Because they've they've gotten away with murder by having to fill a postage side stamp of your vision with content and satisfy your brain through that. And your brain is not getting enough, enough information. So all that's left is to tell the story inside of that. Now you have so much stuff to distract your brain, your, your eyes, and to look at. It's no longer that you're filling a postage stamp. You're filling a postage stamp of detail, but you're giving a complete immersion in a medium that is all around you and is very difficult to manipulate. So it's like just the total opposite of what 2D is. You're not filling a postage stamp of information in the people's visual range. Um, and and trying to tell a story of that you are giving people everybody the kitchen sink of of vision of per perception you're giving them complete perception while you are not while you're also signing over all controls of manipulation you can't manipulate the format like you could do day 3d you can't and this scares Everybody who is in the field of manipulating a 2D format, it scares them shitless because there's nothing they can do in this medium. There's nothing, there's no recourse. All he can do is cut and and um, splice um, VR. It's like the early days of, uh, of the recording artist. You know, what could they do to really to really manipulate the medium, but to to try new kinds of sounds. They couldn't, they can't, they didn't really have synthesizers at the time. That's the thing here is you don't have, um, they kind of have to come up with the 3D equivalent, equivalent of a synthesizer to, to, um, to fill out the medium. And that's, that would be CG. But, CG is the only place where you will be able to fully manipulate VR. But you will not be able to manipulate 3D in the real perception of, of reality. In, in recording what I'm doing now, um, this medium has got the entire industry scared shitless. I can, I can guarantee you that is exactly what they're thinking. How are we going to survive in this? And I'm telling you guys in the industry, you're fucked. And I'm so proud that you're fucked in this industry. I am so proud that you're fucked. Because Vaudeville is coming back with Vengeance from the Dead. And it's saying, damn it, where was our stories? Where are our stories now, you motherfuckers? That's what it's saying. It's saying... What kind of stories, it, I mean, is saying to the, the film industry, it's saying, 
you fucked stories. Now we're going to fuck you, is what it's essentially saying. It's saying all the writers of the past are coming out of the dead. They're saying real perception is going to win this medium. And there's nothing a damn thing that your, your Hollywood manipulation can do about it. You can't, you can't formulize VR. There's no way you're going to put a formula to it. It is going to be a game changer. And when people take over this medium and the real stars are going to be the real people, they're going to be the real deal. They're not going to be presenters, you know. Um, they're going to be presenters. They're going to be people that can act as a, in a stage art, do some acting there, are going to be real singers. They're not going to be, uh, they might be able to lip sync, um, but it's a medium where you can't have stunt doubles. You can't have doubles. You know, I'm going to redo this.